Hello everybody. In this session, we will discuss some more problems and some more concepts regarding the border plot. Here, look at the problem. The problem is given the magnitude plot is given and the phase plot is given for the three problems. This is also magnitude plot and the phase plot. Here also magnitude plot and the phase plot. Here the question is test the stability. Here the question is whether the system, these three systems are stable or not. So look at the first problem. The first problem he is not given anything. Maybe this may be the zero, zero dB. Okay, is directly given minus 90. Okay, so here the magnitude pr plot where it touches 0 dB that is nothing but the gain crossover frequency. Look at it gain, this is the gain crossover frequency, right? What about phase crossover frequency? This is minus 90, and he just for a, a plot for the a plot. So look at for the A plot, the gain crossover frequency omega GC is given. We have some value. So look at the phase crossover frequency. Phase crossover frequency means where the phase touches minus 180 degrees. So here the complete minus 180. But we don't know where it touches minus 180. So that case, just take it, phase crossover frequency is we can tell that not exist we can name it as a not exist or ORR we can take the phase crossover frequency value is the infinite so therefore by looking at so observe here VGC has some value Omega PC has the infinite then automatically the phase crossover frequency is very much greater than the gain crossover frequency wherever whenever phase crossover frequency higher than the gain crossover frequency the given system is the stable system given system is the stable system okay so this is the way of understanding by observing the magnitude plot and the phase plot what about b plot look at for the b plot so here the here wherever it touches the zero automatically that is the he given the gain crossover frequency and at the phase at phase always minus 180 that means so if you observe here minus 180 means in any way it is minus 180 you have to look at here gain crossover frequency and the phase crossover frequency both are same because it always 180 means at gain crossover frequency also is 180 whenever always phase is 180 then we can name it as gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency both are in same value whenever the both are in same value we can tell that the system is marginally stable system the system is the marginally stable system understand simple way just where it touches the zero that is the gain crossover frequency where it minus 180 everywhere it is minus 180 that's why gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency both are same next what about the third point look at the third plot for c plot the here we have this is the gain crossover frequency gain it touches the zero that is nothing but the gain crossover frequency that value is the zero and what about the phase crossover frequency here always minus 270 from from 0 to some frequency value it is the 270 okay yes but before minus 270 means it may be very very less value it has omega frequency is so we can name it as omega P, pc is less value less value because maybe some somewhere we don't know so whenever the plot is like this you can directly take the phase crossover frequency value is the zero then phase crossover frequency is the zero so omega gc is not zero omega gc has some value so we can write like this so we can write gain crossover frequency is very much greater than the phase crossover frequency then the system is 
unstable system and the system is the unstable system okay so in the examination he can give a he can give the problems like this in order to maintain some confusion so just look at the where the gain class over frequency look at the where the phase class over frequency okay so by following the rules then you will easily understand the problem easily understand the problem next so from the above problem we can conclude the three points first point is whenever the transfer function plot maintain less negative here the less negative it is less negative that means less than minus 180 that means minus 170 or minus 160 like this whenever maintain less negative minus 180 minus 160 that means like this problem look at here here this is minus 90 is there here the minus 90 the example we can tell that at all frequencies if it is for the all frequency everywhere same this problem this is minus 90 means it is less than minus 180 at all frequencies then the system is stable whenever the it's like this the system is stable because why it is possible at that condition phase crossover frequency very much greater than the gain crossover frequency okay that's why you should directly take whenever it is less than minus 180 the phase crossover frequency is very much greater than the gain crossover frequency actually phase crossover frequency not exist look at here same problem look at the same problem here here phase crossover frequency is infinite or not exist so but we take infinite for analysis for but understanding for analysis we should take the infinite frequency this is the first point the first point is whenever the transfer function maintain less than minus 180 it is phase crossover frequency is very much greater than the gain crossover frequency second point whenever the play, plot maintain minus 180 at all frequencies so if the frequency is having the same frequency then the system is marginally stable we can tell that the system is marginally stable because that condition it will touch gain crossover frequency somewhere zero that is nothing but gain crossover frequency equal to phase crossover frequency look at here here the same thing gain crossover frequency is this value why the magnitude plot is will reach zero at this point at this frequency is gain crossover frequency just observe minus 180 is everywhere everywhere is the phase crossover frequency and at this point gain crossover frequency equal to phase crossover frequency so the system is marginally stable this is the second point what about third point whenever the plot maintain more negative than minus 180 if it is more than the minus 180 that may that means minus 190 minus 200 like this then the system is unstable system then the system is the unstable system further condition gain crossover frequency is more than the phase crossover frequency so that why it is at that condition you should take phase crossover frequency value is the zero so in order to understand this look at the example here we have some gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency starts from directly minus 270 it is more whenever it minus 270 then you should take it is phase crossover frequency it must be zero must be the zero okay for the phase plot so that's why the system is unstable system okay so by giving this small 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 uh, plots with zero magnitudes and and minus 90 minus 180 minus 270 zero plots you will give some confusion just analyze, analyze where is the gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency then move to the problem it will be very useful okay so i hope all of you understand this session thank you